Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics and in this video we're going to solve this really interesting exponential equation as you can see 81 to the power x equal to x to the power 18 and on the first side this is very easy equation we have like not a um, complicated expression we have on the left hand side on the right hand side like exponential function and we can easily solve it but I want to tell you that this is like not an easy equation as you can see because this is like a little bit complicated question and in this video I'm going to show you two best approaches two best tricks two best formulas right here how can we solve these interesting questions so two best methods. So let's start with the first method. For example, imagine that we have this question. So 81 to the power x equal to x to the power 18. Okay, so we have this, our, our question. What are we going to do next? We will know about natural log. And natural log, this is a really great function because if we take natural log on both sides, for example, on the left-hand side, natural log 81 to the x equal to natural log x to the power 18. And if you know a little bit about natural log, you need to know that if we have natural log a to the power b, it is equal to b times natural log a. So this b jumped right here, so the exponent will come down. So this is our rule that we use right here. And if we apply this rule, this x jump right here goes down and this 18 goes down right here. So we have x times natural log 81 equal to 18 times natural log x. Yeah, so right now we have we have this expression. What are we going to do next? Let's try to group our variables on the left hand side, for example, and our constant on the right hand side, because we have like this is a constant and this is a constant. So we need to group our constant on the right hand side and our variables on the left hand side, because this is our variable in the log and this is our variable. And for this, let's try to divide both sides by, for example, let's divide by x at first. If we divide by x, this x we can easily cancel. So we have natural log 81 equal to, right here we have 18 times natural log x over x, because we divide in both sides by this, by this x. What are we going to do next? Right, right here we have a constant, this is really great, but right here we forget about one constant, so let's divide both sides by this, by this 18. If we divide in both sides by this 18, we will have like natural log 81 over 18 equal to natural log x over x. So we have this expression, this is our constant, this is our, our function, this is our variable that we need to find. So I, I, try, I suggest you to ch change position. So let's write variables on the left hand side. So natural log x over x equal to natural log. But let's write this 81. How can we write it? As 3 to the 4th power, for example, or how can we write it? I guess uh, 9 square, yeah, 9 times 9. So we have like natural log 9 square all over, let's write this 18 as uh, 2 times 9, yeah? We can easily see that something are similar with this one. And right now, if you know, if we apply this rule once more, these two goes right here. So we have like 2 times natural log 9 over 2 times 9. And finally, take a look, we can easily cancel these two so right here and right here. So as a result, we have really interesting and important expression. I write it in the beginning, so natural log x over x equal to natural log 9, because we cancel this two, and over 9. And take a look closely. x, natural log x, natural log 9, x and 9. So it's one and only way that this equation works is when our x equal to 9 and this x equal to 9, because we have absolutely similar constant on the boss on the boss numerator and denominator, and right here both similar, so it's like a mirror, yeah, this and this, and the one only way that x equal to 9. It was our first, first really interesting approach, and I want to show you the second way how can we solve it, and I suggest you to look at the second method, because this is really great, this is absolutely a different method with, with this one, so our question right here, so 81 to the power x equal to x to the power 18. So here is our question, and this is our method, method second, yeah, second method. And I suggest you to look this, look this method. This is very interesting method, including Lambert W function, which is, which is really great to practice or to learn about Lambert W function. So we have a question. Let's do one more this step. Let's take natural log on both sides. And I, I just want to rewrite this expression right here. So let's rewrite it. We need, we need this expression. So we have like natural log x over x equal to natural log 9 over over 9. 
So I need this, I need this expression right here. And let's solve this question according Lambert W function. For example, you have a question on your exam, you need to solve it according to Lambert W function, or you need to apply this Lambert W function. And for this, on the right hand side, let's try to remember or learn about Lambert W function. I try to explain you about this function in simply words. So for example, imagine that you have expression like that x times e to the power x, you have this expression. And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, you'll have only our x. So imagine you have like nature log x times e to the power nature log x. Then our answer, if you apply Lambert W function, equal only to our exponent or this uh, element, because this is absolutely the same. And let's try to create this function right here. So instead of this x, let's write our e to the power nature log x. So we have nature log x. Instead of this x, let's write this expression e to, a, to the power nature log x. This is absolutely, absolutely the same. Okay, and of course equal to nature log 81 over 18. Let's try to go back. Not we don't need to use this because we don't know right now about this. We need this one nature log 81 over 18. It was in the beginning, yeah, right here. It was our simplifying steps. We solved it right here using this exponent rule. But we don't know about this uh, anymore. We need this one expression, yeah. So equal to nature log 81 over 18. Okay, right now let's bring this e to the power nature log x to our numerator. So we have e to the power minus nature log x because we bring in from a numerator from the numerator to numerator times nature log x in our numerator equal to nature log 81 over over 18. Yeah, I forget about it because this is absolutely close to our answer, but we need this expression. We don't need this one as I told before. Okay, right now, if you look closely, it looks like something like that at our expression that we need to apply Lambert W function, but right here we have minus and right here we have only our positive nature log x. So if you multiply both sides by minus one, we have like the next, I bring this to our uh, in the left hand side minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to equal to minus nature log 81 over 18. Yeah, so I just multiply both sides by by minus one. Okay, what we're going to do next, let's apply lambda w function because we have the same this expression, this is our x and the same this expression, this is our same x right here. So if you apply lambda w function from this one, if we apply from this, if we apply it, we will have like the next, we will have minus nature log x. So minus nature log x equal to Lambert W function of this minus nature log 81 over over 18. Okay, so this is our expression right now. And let's find, uh, let's try to find the exact answer of this, of this expression. So minus nature log x equal to Lambert W function. And let's try to, uh, let's try to simplify this function right here. As I told before, we can write it as minus 2 times nature log 9 over 2 times 9, yeah, right here. So we just need to cancel these two, these two right here. So as a result, we have the next one. We have Lambert W function. We have Lambert W function of this one, minus nature log 9 and over e to the power nature log 9, yeah? Because we, we solve it according to Lambert W function and of course equal to Lambert W function in this point minus nature log 9 times e to the power minus nature log 9 because we bring this to our to our numerator. And if you look closely, this is absolutely the same case because we have minus nature log x on the left hand side and right here this Lambert W function equal to minus nature log 9, yeah? So as a result we have minus nature log x equal to minus nature log 9, which is very obvious for us because we have the same x equal to x equal to 9. This is more complicated method I want to tell you because as you can see according to Lambert W function this is a little bit longer method because it's harder but if you need you to solve this question according to Lambert W function you can easily solve it but it's a longer method but if you need it if the teacher says that you need to solve it according to Lambert W function you can easily easily do this according to this explanation. I, I prefer this method this is like uh, better for me this is better method for me because this is like an obvious one and step by step you then log we just find our x equal to 9. But if you need to solve it according to Lambert W function, you can easily do this according to according to the second method and write a question in a comment. If you, And of course, there is the third method. Third method uh, using the rule of interchain. This is really interesting. So if you're interested in this question, I can easily um, record a video with a third method or you can easily write your suggestion how can you solve it according to this rule of interchain. This is, this is really great. 
So I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. I hope you understand this explanation. And if you still have any question, write your question into the comment section. And thank you for your support, for your likes, for your for your comments. I really appreciate it that you need this content. Maybe not good, uh, not good. Uh, maybe some content not good, some content good. It happens. And uh, of course, I try to help everyone to learn math. So thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.